Hi everyone, this lesson is on quadratic sequences and the learning objective is to be able to find the nth term formula for a quadratic sequence. So let's start with a warm-up. Can you find the nth term formula for these sequences? The challenge is to find out how many cubes in the next shape in this pattern and can you find an nth term formula for the number of cubes in each in each shape in the pattern? I'll let you pause the video and try that now. Okay, let's have a look. So uh, the first sequence, part A, is a linear sequence. The, that's the nth term. Part B is also linear. The nth term formula is that. Part C is just uh, the sequence of square numbers, so it's actually nonlinear. But the nth term formula should be familiar to you, and it's just n squared. So let's have a look at uh, this pattern. So in each three dimensional shape, we have red cubes at the bottom and vert vertically stacked cubes on top. For the first pattern, for n equals 1, we have 1 cube. n equals 2, we have a 2 by 2 set of red cubes at the bottom. For n equals 3, we have a 3 by 3 set of red cubes at the bottom. Which means, in our nth term formula, these red cubes are going to be represented by n squared. So n squared will give us the number of red cubes in the nth term. On top of the red cubes, we have these vertically stacked cubes and there's always three vertically stacked cubes on top so we just add three and that gives us the nth term formula in the next pattern there will be 19 cubes okay so before we start looking at quadratic sequences I just want to make sure you're clear about what uh, the word quadratic means any expression which is quadratic, which is a quadratic expression, has a, a squared term in it. So all of these are quadratic expressions because they all have an n squared term. And n is the variable or the unknown. And they all can have an n squared term. So they're all quadratic expressions. If I had an expression with an n cubed term, it would not be quadratic. It would actually be a cubic expression. n squared, if n squared is the highest power, uh, then it's a quadratic expression. So let's look at finding the nth term formula for a quadratic sequence. Here is a quadratic sequence. I'm going to start off by finding the first differences and the second differences. And we know from the previous lesson that a quadratic sequence always has second differences which are constant. So in this case, the first difference, we get that. When we work out the second differences, we get two. Because all the second differences are the same, we know it's a quadratic sequence. What I'm going to do next is just work out a half of the second difference and multiply it by n squared. So I'm going to work out half times 2 times n squared. And this is what I get. Of course, half times 2 is just 1, and 1n one squared is just n squared. So these terms are just n squared. What I'm going to do next is work out the difference between my sequence and these red terms. <clears throat> so 2 minus 1 is 1, 5 minus 4 is 1, 10 minus 9 is 1, and so on. And I'm going to call that the remainder. So the remainder for each term is 1. Straight away now, I can write down the nth term formula of this quadratic sequence because I know that when I subtract each term in my sequence, or if I subtract n squared from each term in my sequence, I get 1. All I need to do is take these red terms 
and add 1. So my nth term formula is n squared plus 1 and you can check whether it works or not by substituting n into the formula. So I'll let you check that now. Okay, so you should be quite happy with that now. And this is the method we're going to follow to find the nth term formula of a quadratic sequence. And I would recommend that when you're working this out, you write out your sequence, you write out the first differences and the second differences in just the way that I've done it here. So let's have a look at another example. So this is another quadratic sequence. I'm going to let you work out the first, second differences and the remainders. I'll let you pause the video and try that now. Okay, let's have a look. First differences. This is what I get. Second differences are all 4. Half times 4 is 2. So for these red terms, I'm going to work out 2n squared. And this is what I get. Next step, work out the remainder. The remainder in this case is minus 1 each time. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 7 minus 8 is minus 1 and so on. The n squared, uh, the nth term formula, therefore, is going to be 2n squared, these red terms, minus 1. And you can check whether that formula works and gives you each term in the sequence by substituting n into the formula. Okay, here are some exercises now. And again, I recommend that you follow this kind of method and lay out your sequence, the differences and the remainder in just the way that I've done here. And hopefully you should be able to find the nth term formula for these quadratic sequences with no trouble at all. So I'll let you pause the video and try that now. Okay, let's have a look. So, for the first sequence, nth term formula is 2n squared plus 2. For the second sequence, the nth term formula is 3n squared plus 1. <coughs> and the third sequence, 5n squared minus 1. So, if you weren't able to find the correct formulae, I strongly recommend you go back and check your working carefully. Okay, I'm going to we're going to carry on looking at quadratic sequences, but this time it's going to be slightly different when we get to the remainder. So, let's see what happens for this sequence. First differences This is what I get. Second differences are all 2, which means I need to work out n squared. Now, let's have a look at the remainder. 2 minus 1 is 1. 7 minus 4 is 3. 14 minus 9 is 5, and so on. The remainder is not constant. So the remainder itself is a sequence. Can you spot what the nth term formula for this green sequence is? So what is the formula for the remainder terms? Well, they are just the set of odd numbers. So the nth term formula is just, it's a linear, linear sequence. So the nth term formula is just 2n minus 1. Which means this time, for our quadratic sequence, we're going to take n squared, red terms, 
and instead of adding on a constant term we're just going to add on the nth term formula for the green sequence which is just 2n minus 1. Now I can take the brackets away and now I can test whether this nth term formula works by substituting in so for the first term 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 1 gives me 2 and you can check that this formula works for the subsequent terms in the sequence. So all we did this time is instead of adding on a constant remainder we worked out the nth term formula for this green sequence and added that on instead. And that then gives us the nth term formula for our quadratic sequence. So I'm just going to let you practice doing that yourself for this sequence. I'm going to let you pause the video and try that now. Right, so let's have a look. I hope you were able to find the nth term formula. Let's look at the first differences. So just check that you got the first differences right. Second differences are all 6. So this time I'm going to work out a half times 6 times n squared, which is just 3n squared. The remainder, remainder terms are just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is also a linear sequence. In the warm-up, we found the nth term formula for this it's just n so we're just going to add on n to 3n squared and that gives us the nth term formula for our quadratic sequence okay here are some exercises and I'll let you try and find the nth term formula for these sequences using the method I've just described I'll let you pause the video and try that now. Okay, for the first sequence, you should have arrived at an n term formula, which is 2n squared plus 3n. Second sequence, and Part C. You should recognize the last sequence. It's actually the sequence of triangular numbers, which we saw in the previous lesson. And if we factorize that expression, this is what we get. Right, so learning outcomes. This is what you should be able to tick off now. You should be able to find the nth term formula of a quadratic sequence when it looks like this. And those were the first set of exercises that we looked at. We then looked at finding the nth term formula of a quadratic sequence when it looks like this, which is the more general form. And we practiced doing that in the second set of exercises. So I hope you enjoyed that. The next lesson, we're going in the next lesson, we're going to look at finding the nth term formula for a geometric sequence.